I'm, I'm so sorry. We were remiss. We needed to tell you that Sarah's out for a few days attending a funeral for a family friend. That's why she's not here. So I, it got Iowa. away from me, yeah. yeah. So here's something you want to talk about. A recent career community survey of over 500 hiring professionals found that a woman's professionalism is often judged on her physical appearance. Mm -hmm. And one woman is going viral for sharing her story. Take a look. Mm -hmm. I interviewed for a job earlier this week. The interview went so well. My background was exactly what they were looking for. She was concerned that for my interview, I hadn't put in enough effort in my appearance given the level of role I was interviewing for. I was interviewing for a vice president position, and now my appearance. I had done a blowout for my hair, I had on a nice top, a blazer, some earrings, but I only had on chapstick. I didn't have any makeup. Does not wearing makeup for women to job interviews or to jobs make it seem like they aren't putting as much effort or care into their job? I think that's hard to tell because no one would ever ask a man why his ever. face wasn't made up. <laughs> ever. ever. But, you know, and uh, to me, if I'm working on a pole, then you can talk to me about makeup. Yeah. But if I'm working in a capacity where I have to talk to people and stuff, what does my face have to do with this? What does my makeup people have to do with it? People are, well, I think that after all the years of women where people are not used to seeing Women, other people do, are not used to seeing women with makeup. Even Trump knows Without that. Look at the makeup he wears. <laughs> yeah. That's people true. know you have to wear makeup on television. On television, but I don't think she was on yeah, television. Yeah, I, I, I do wonder about it because, you know, if you're working for a law firm, and interviewing for a law firm position, does that mean that you have to have a fully made up face? I, I will tell you that in my experience, both as a lawyer and as someone on television, my hair has been, become an issue. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know how to blow my hair out, I don't know how to flat iron my hair out, and everybody realized that during the pandemic, right? Because we didn't have hair and makeup crews and I showed up like this. Um, what I will say is I've been told many times that curly hair is unprofessional and that I should make a change. And I also was told one day, I let one of the stylists blow out my hair for CNN. I got a call from an executive that same day and said, the person said, you found your look. Don't change it. Which was the straight hair. Which was the straight hair. That it's happened also to me when I was a receptionist over at Good Morning America. What happened? You know, I was a receptionist. I knew. One I knew. of the worst receptionists they've ever had. I've heard that. I have no well. doubt. <laughs> but, but what happened? What happened? But I had like an Afro sort of hair. That's my hair. Here I look. You have look curly Italian picture. hair. Yeah. yeah. See, and my hair was actually. That's what joy. That's that was that's a blowout. Joy. That's a blowout. That's that was a blowout. blowout. No, you had like so winglets. Like, so yeah. the, the EP wanted me on TV. Thought I was funny, and so but they never put me on. And so another person over there said, if you had blown your hair out, because one day I came in with it straightened out, you know, yeah. with some Agent Orange I used. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, um, and and he said, if you had worn your hair like that, they would have put you on television. It's, what is, well, but it's, it's crazy. It's also it's a lose-lose. Like, discriminatory. Because in my experience, I remember when I was at the Department of Defense, I was so conservative because my peers were three- and four-star generals who were 30 years older. So I wore virtually no makeup. I pulled my hair back. I wore a suit every day. So you, on one hand, as a woman to be taken seriously, feel like yeah. you have to downplay your looks or your youth or whatever. And then in other circumstances, like I was in hair and makeup for like two hours today. Same. It, it, some is industry dependent, but yeah. that was something where I felt like showing up in glam would have hurt me. Yeah. If we came out here without makeup, people would be scared. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> I'm going to haunt a house. I believe so. We have the best glam squad in the country. <laughs> not Whoopi. Well, she Whoopi. Doesn't wear it. The rest of us, the rest of us yeah. did not wake up people like People would be like adjusting the screen. What's this? <laughs> well, people always say, how come you don't wear makeup? I said, because who has time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, don't have two time. hours to fool around. Yeah. Either it's either you like this or you don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't have to be here. <laughs> I'll be home. <laughs> but that's me. It went viral because she did not wear makeup and she went for an interview. In that interview, they told her it was for a vice president. She's qualified. Her resume, everything, she's fit for it. But they told her that but her makeup does not look like it. <coughs> Basically, the women in the view have some arguments to make. They have their own opinion to make. She walk, walk. Um, when she was walking, everybody was an older person. She was a younger person. She would pull her hair behind. Basically, she wore no makeup. She wanted to look her age, and she wore suit every day. So that was all right for those people. Basically, um, Joy Bea said she used to work for the restaurant 
and then um she, everybody thought she was funny but she have her hair blew out but one day she came out she have straightened the hair out and the manager told her that if you wore your hair like this long time they could have put you on tv they didn't put you on tv because of this year <laughs> basically um somebody like um sonny say that she has been having trouble because her hair is coily. The thing coiling hair is not professional. The one hair that is straightened. So if her hair was straightened, she could have been put. She could have have um. She could have been more professional according to what they said. One time she said she went for CNE and she was on air and she straightened her hair. They she had a call and they told her that you finally find your look. She just be put in the street basically they used to know that um when you're on tv you need to pick up makeup basically someone like who pissy she doesn't wear makeup when they ask her why she said because a lot of work and then she doesn't um she's a lot of work to wear makeup according to her so if you don't like her the way she is then she'd rather be home that's her basically but actually uh, it depends on the industry you're working with so they all have their own different opinion so basically what do you think about this do you support that women with potentials we miss their opportunity you carry somebody who is not qualified who cannot deliver because they look champion champions and put in that organization and put in that field rather than take somebody who is qualified be at least the person who needs the person not dating just because the person don't have makeup someone will deliver the material so basically what do you think but basically as the world is changing things are trying to balance up because you can see now most women are now going for natural most women don't want to look in so um artificial as i'll call it so most women are getting to natural so the world is becoming a better place i guess um so some people um well make up and they break out a lot they decided not to break out some people think that wearing makeup is a waste of time some people are some people because of their religious belief so some people have different different reasons some people don't just like it at all so some people have different opinion why they don't wear it. So my own opinion, the best is that um the person is looking neat and least neat. Um what you really need is someone who can deliver. The lady was not hired as a vice president. So they rather pick somebody who look is looking what they want, but they cannot deliver. If you cannot deliver, there will be no increment in that organization which automatically will affect that business in the year to come but so what do you want you want result or you just want people to play around with let me see your opinion in the comment section thank you very much for watching if you have not subscribed please help subscribe and help share the video thank you and god bless you